Hello dear students, all the dignified listeners, we had one class on one of the important sectors of psychology and this is the next class which says for all the students and stakeholders who are studying education and other subjects. Friends, learning is one of the most important sectors of psychology. And uh, we had discussion on the basic concept of learning and today we are to discuss the next, uh, you see, part of the sector and that is the nature of learning. Friends, once we discuss about the nature of learning, we see that learning is a continuous process. We had the definition when we discussed in our first class that learning is the modification of behavior through experiences and training. So friends, in the field of learning, in the process of learning, we need two important things. The first one is experience and the second one is training. Without experience and training, we never can learn anything else. There are some situations which we necessarily control or which we necessarily adjust with the help of our innate potentialities or innate capabilities. And you see such situations can be explained or discussed as learning. Learning is what is being learned, what is being developed. It is the process of developing behavior as well as it is the process of modification of behavior with the help of experiences as well as training. So friends, when we discuss about the nature of learning, we see that it's a universal process, it's a never-ending process. And you see, for having scientific concept of learning, we must have to have an idea related to the nature of learning. And the basic, you see, explanation related to the nature of learning is, it's a continuous process, so long our life continues, the process of learning also continues. Learning never stops. Learning never, you see, learning never stops in any phase of our life. Because we are to face different situations with the help of our, you see, knowledge and experience as well as training in our life situation. Life is a challenging trust, you know, or we know it very much well that life never stops. And there are so many challenges in our life and we are to face all the challenges of our life so that we can, you see, adjust with life situations. So friends, for adjusting with life situations, the most important thing which we need is learning. And learning, you see, the, it's a continu continuous process and with the process of continuity of learning, we see the stage or stay, state of, you see, perfection. So, for perfection, we need more learning. You see, and the basic uh, idea of learning starts in a particular phase of life and it continues. See, what are the most important, uh, you see, uh, uh, how we, we can explain learning that is also important for explaining the spatial characteristics of learning. Once we discuss about the nature of learning, we must have to have an idea about the, once we are to discuss the nature of learning, we must have to have uh, the proper idea regarding the specialities or the characteristics of learning. And before discussing about the characteristics of learning, we must have to discuss about or we must have to explain what is learning in brief manner. Friends, learning is, learning may be regarded as the systematic attempt to affect, reform or sense in behavior. So sense of behavior or modification of behavior is the prime concern of learning. It includes a wide variety of senses in behavior that occurs only with the help of experience and training. So these two, two, two things are, one is experience and next one is training. These two things are very much, you see, important in the process of learning. It may involve adjustment with others. It may involve adjustment with different situations of our life. Or it may involve the learning of use of skills of day-to-day -day work. Or it may inculcate a healthy habit of a better and civilized life. So friends, civilization never stops. Life never stops. And that's why we have to continue learning so that as per the change of time and as per the changes of different, you see, uh, different uh, challenges of life situations, 
we can cope with, we can adjust to it our life, and that's why we have to continue learning. Now the question which uh, you see, why we need learning? What are the needs of learning? You see, just uh, before discussing the spatial characteristics of learning, we must have to have a brief idea concerning to the needs of learning. And once we see it, we see that the first one is learning may be accepted as the organization of behavior. As for example, in learning to ride a bicycle, one has to organize the learning of turning the pedal, balancing the handle, etc., or controlling mechanisms of riding. For such experience, the learner is to continue the process. So, you see, so for having the idea, you see, just to learn about the uh, process of bicycling or process of riding a bicycle, we must have to have the idea, organized idea regarding the uh, management of the handle, pedal, all these things. So second one is, you see, why we need learning? The second one is, learning itself is a self-active process of the living organism. It's a self-active process. So learning basically depends on the activity of the learners. Whenever the learner becomes much more active, his learning or her learning becomes much more perfect. So for the perfection of learning, there is the need of active, you see, involvement in the process. It is also a self-directed activity which depends on personal capabilities. It is believed that without the help of instructor or systematic teaching, the child can learn without having the help of a teacher or without having the help of other MC mechanisms, this child can learn with the help of own inborn capabilities as well as for the satisfaction of his or her inclusiveness of the mind so that the child can adjust to its life situation in proper manner and satisfy own demands of life or own needs. Next one, you see, we are to see learning itself is a self active process of the living organism. It is also a self-directed activity which depends on personal capabilities. It is believed that without the help of instructor or systematic teaching, the child can learn. Only it needs the awareness or inclusiveness to learn, which is resulted from the environment. So friends, in the process of learning, the concern of environment or the influence of environment has spatial significance or importance. Without the help of instructor, there may not be any teacher in the process of learning or to teach the child, but still the child learns with the help of the inborn capabilities so that the child can cope with life situation. And this is the basic demand of life and that's why humanity or every person in, the, in this universe remain busy in learning process so as to, you see, lead life or help life exist and this the different uses, challenges and diversities. The next thing uh, you see, which is what do uh, what we do in learning? What do we do in the process of learning? If it's the process of modification of behavior through experiences and training, and it depends on the inborn capabilities as well as the influence or the impact of the environment. If it is, it has special significance. Then there may be a question in our mind. Then for the clarification of the uh, for the clarification of the question or for having the answer of the question, we must have to say that learning creates the relationship between receptors and effectors for acquiring experiences. We do have in our body uh, there are five sense organs and senses are the, are the gateways of learning. And with the help of our senses, we get stimulation or we keep contact with the stimuli of the environment and then sport with the help of the factors of our body we reaction we express reaction or responses and with the help of the modification of the responses we learn and learn and that's why learning is particularly it's a systematic process on the depends on the inborn capabilities as well as the role of the human physiology has spatial significance in the process of learning, particularly the five senses, the nose, the eyes, the tongue, the skin, and the ears. These are the five sense organs of our body. And with the help of all the five sense organs, we keep contact with the, with the different stimuli of the environment and then sport we get responses. And according to the responses, you see, we expose or manifest reaction and when 
the reactions are our reactions become permanent in our mindset, in our psyche, in our or in the brain. You, we develop concept and concept formation is such a process and in the process of concept formation also learning and space is significant. So friends, that's for the second part uh, using or the discuss or discussing these spatial characteristics of learning, we must have to have the idea of uh, on on which factors on, on or what are the factors on which learning depends? Learning depends on some important UC factors. I just have explained for you what for your good learning that learning in the process of learning human senses or the sense organs of the human body as well as the physiology because the senses are in the physiology, the primary roles are being played by the physiology or the activities of the uh, activities of the human physiology. So friends, what we need, uh, learning is also depend, dependent upon one's innate intelligence. So in the process of learning, intelligence has special importance. On intelligence is inborn capability and we differ from the point of intelligence means when we consider the uh, inborn capabilities of us then we see that there are differences and that's why the process of learning also becomes so much you see different in case of every person like you what the pace of learning of yourself and myself uh, once we compare we see differences and these differences or these differences only because of the capability of our intelligence because learning depends on our intelligence learning depends on the inborn capabilities of the human side or the human organism learning depends on the inborn ingredients which are there in your mindset or in your psyche so friends intelligence has special importance all the psychophysical psycho uh, physical capabilities do have the specialities in the process of learning friends learning has special importance in our day to day life in economic field also learning is special significance because without learning nothing can be achieved or for achieving life mission or for the uh, achievement of life goals we must have to pay proper attention towards the process of learning and uh, for uh, you see paying proper att attention towards the process of learning we must have to develop proper concept of learning and for developing proper concept of learning we must have an idea of our idea of the functioning of our physiology because in the process of cognizing the universe or keeping contact with the universe or means in the process of knowledge uh, acquisition of knowledge the prime roles are being played by the by the physiological organs particularly the five senses of human bodies but the nose the eyes I just have to repeat for your good learning the ears the tongue and the skin these are the five sense organs and with the help of the five senses we keep contact with the universe and we keep contact with the phenomena of the universe we keep contact with different things beings events situations problems etc etc and we try to with the help of our physiological capabilities as well as the internal urges or internal demands of our needs of our body as well as mind or psychic state we try to get the result of you see just after the facing just after facing or just after you see uh, just after going uh, or just after keeping contact with the phenomena or things being situations etc etc so friends it's a process of solving different problems of our life the problems or solving process of human individual basically depends on the capabilities or capability of learning and it's a inborn capability and it, it depends on human intelligence and which is also inborn and there are differences among all the people of the universe so far the point of intelligence is being has special concern as well as physiological capabilities on functioning so friends for learning in proper manner you see we must have to pay proper attention towards the functioning of the five senses and that's why sense training has special significance or importance for every person for you of all for me for all the people of the universe so that they can learn everything else as per their capabilities as well as as per their demand of life as well as mission or vision or goal of life goal achievement of life also basically depends on learning 
and that's why friends learning is not say so much simple process it's a totally psychological process and it depends on the roles and functions of human physiology particularly in first place the basic roles are playing by the five sense organs of the human body and that's why it is said that senses are the gateways of learning these are the doors of human mind and windows of human soul with the help of the doors and windows of our body we keep contact with the greater extensive universe and we learn and learn and with the help of our learning we adjust our life situation and we achieve the mission of our life friends for this class this month in our next class we have to discuss the specialities or the special characteristics of learning you please study in uh, you see staying at your home as you are uh, you see now because of the uh, attack of the very much dangerous virus you are staying in isolation so in home or at your own residence at your own place you please study the materials and for make yourself ready for the next class so that in the next class whenever we will discuss or i will discuss with you the specialities or the characteristics of learning you can have the better idea thank you so much that is